Okay, let's get started. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming along again. Um, we are th this week. We're going to be looking at putting the Be Everywhere system into practice. Um, I've actually split this into two parts because there is quite a lot to go over, and it kind of makes sense in terms of uh, time scale as well. And this was actually uh, suggested after last week's session. Um, I, I say I say every week it's an interactive session, so feel free to um, kind of interject and to raise any questions you might have. You'll see a questions area um, on the right hand side of your screen, so feel free to type anything in there that you would like to at any time. So let's um, start with the first screen here. So not quite sure why the headers are showing of the uh, oh there there we go disappeared now so just a quick reminder for setting up a new publishing channel there are multiple ways in which uh, to do this firstly you can see on the left hand side of the screen there you can click the channel icon the, the channel link at the top of the left hand menu from uh, the vwriter screen after you log in you can also access it via the menu so channels new publishing channel you can, um, on, the, on the right hand side of your screen there, you can just hover over the channels link, which would take you to the channels ma manager page. And a plus icon will kind, of, will kind of hover and appear. So just click that and that allows you to add a publishing channel as well. And also once you've got to the um, channels page, so the pu publishing channels page, there's also a plus icon there just above the list of channels that you'll see. So there's four different ways um, of adding a new channel. Um, it's what, whatever kind of, kind of works for you at the, at the right time for you. So let's um, start here. So what, what I'm going to go over really is how I've set up my account to work with my own content. Um, I'm just starting to get all of that set up now. So it's pretty much all kind of um, active now. Um, so the first three channels here are all connected with the blog. I've got one set up for uh, Twitter. So it'll be publishing content to my, my VWriter Twitter channel. Um, the second one is for publishing to Pinterest and Facebook and LinkedIn. The reason why Twitter is separate is because that's for multiple tweets. So I need to set that up separately as a separate channel. And when you have multiple tweets, they are written by a writer rather than um, auto-created from the original content. Um, so that, that's why it needs to be set up on its own. The other um, channels, you, you, you can either choose to have it auto-created. So you'll effectively be scraping up. To just one second, a question from Lynn. Um, not seeing anything on your screen. Um, it could be be an internet speed issue, Lynn. Um, I do have a kind of a test webinar running as, as my, myself effectively, and uh, the screen is coming through perfectly fine. Um, I presume you can hear me okay, but I'm not sure why you wouldn't be able to see me. There will be a video of this as usual kind of later on. So if you're not able to see the screen at all for some reason, then um, you should be able to catch up on the video later on, but you might get some out of it just by kind of listening along. So hopefully you'll you'll catch up. Okay, good. Um, so the third channel I've got here is for um, articles. So my pen name, so uh, Steve Shaw, is written there as um, the, the pen name for the kind of the article channel there. Um, I'll go over article channels in more depth in a future training session, but that's just the basic way I've set it up at the moment uh, for those channels. Let's go to, let's check them in the right place. Okay, the next couple of channels are basically set up using my uh, SlideShare RSS feed. So on the SlideShare website, um, you basically find your feed for you for your account there and you can see my account name here is vwriter.com um, and based on the slide share feed it will publish to pinterest to facebook and linkedin and again i've got multiple tweets going out to the twitter um vwriter feed and also a couple of other twitter feeds that there's no reason why you can't sort of add one but more than one twitter account to your publishing channel so i've basically done that there so that's for slideshare 
whenever I publish there. The next one is for YouTube, as you can see. So again, multiple tweets going out to Twitter. Um, there's no reason why if you're going to go to the effort of going to create something like a SlideShare or um, a YouTube video, why you, you would just kind of send out one tweet. It makes sense to send out more than one tweet um, to really kind of get the maximum value out of there. So you'll be trying to capture pe people's attention, you know, at different times of day and so on. And you can basically set up multiple tweets to go out at a at a, a schedule of your choosing so you might have you, you might ask for say six tweets and want one going out every few days or every couple of weeks and so on um, and i've got something similar there for um linkedin facebook and pinterest as before so that's youtube covered um for ezan articles each time it publishes an article to my ezan articles um, expert author page basically it will send out um, a single tweet this time. Um, I, I don't really want multiple tweets just going out for ease on articles. So I'll, I'll just send out kind of an automated single tweet to those uh, Twitter accounts. Um, this talks about channel notification. So just a reminder on how to set these up. If you're not too familiar, then please go back over the previous training videos that we've got. So basically, once you have a publishing channel in place, that's either a draft or is active, you'll see at the very bottom of the um, channel settings page, you'll see channel notifications. And it's here that you're able to set up um, email notifications and post notifications, for example, for the channel. So to enter a new email notification, as it says, you just click the, the plus icon that shows up on the page there and um, get those set up. So I'll, I'll show you what I've set up for the different channels here. So for the, um, it d doesn't matter too much which publishing channel channel you set these notifications up under. Um, the main thing you're interested in is the, the source. So for this um, circumstance, I'm, I'm interested in new content that's published to the blog. So I just picked one basically, I've used the article channel and I've added a couple of channel notifications there. And I'll just go through what I've um, set those up to do. So the first one will basically send out an email. I've just set it to myself for this example, but you can basically send the email notification to anybody. For example, you might have a, a member of staff or an assistant that's helping you out. Um, so I've asked it to kind of send out the email um, with the subject create new slide share and then please create new slide share based on link and that's a placeholder there are instructions on the page when you set this up but if you just just add in that placeholder there it will basically swap that out with the actual link to the new content so whoever's going to be creating a new slide share for example on the blog post in this example they will see the link to um, the, the exact post that they then need to look at. So that's the first um, channel notification. Um, let's just check, okay. Yep, that's the second one now. So this one is another notification that goes out asking whoever you want really to create a new email broadcast. And again, I'm just, oops, and again, I'm just using the link placeholder within the body. And that again will be will be swapped out with the link to the actual blog post. So the person concerned can see the post that they're basing the uh, email broadcast or anything else that you've set up. Um, so, so, that, so, so they know what to do really. Let's have a look at this. So there's some more channel notifications here. Again, I've set these up under one of these um, channels. So when the SlideShare publishes new content under my vwriter.com account, it will send out channel notifications. And I've got two set up again. So the first one here is asking someone to create a YouTube video, again, using the link. So as soon as a new SlideShare goes up, this email notification will go out um, to whoever you, you set the settings to. Let's 
Let's just double check. Okay, so there's a create a YouTube video and yeah, a second one um, to embed a slide share back into. Oops, I keep doing that. Back into the original blog post. So, so as, as soon as a slide share is published, you basically want somebody to then embed it back into the original blog post. And I've um, talked about this before, I think, but basically that allows you to keep people on, on your blog post page for longer. That reduces your bounce rate. So it means because people stay there for longer, it tells Google that your web page kind of has more authority. They're more interested in, in the content that they're looking at. So it tells Google that it was kind of a good result to show their their searchers or their, their customers in effect. And it could, that, that in itself can help your rankings. Okay, and there's another channel notification, excuse me, another channel notification for EZAN articles. Whenever a new article goes to EZAN articles, it's published there. Let's just see what that was set up for. This one sends out a notification to set up the same article basically on LinkedIn Pulse. Um, again, using the placeholder. So as soon as a new a new article is published to Ezon Articles, when they approve the article, the feed is updated, and VWriter takes that information and sends out the email notification that that, that has been set up here. Okay, so I've shown you how the account is set up. Now I'm going to basically go through and show you what happens as, as a result of um, publishing a blog post. So the blog is updated and then VWriter notices that there's new content on the blog feed and we'll see what happens after that. So, so this was a, a new post that was published. Okay, so based on the channels that were set up, if you remember, um, Within a couple of minutes, basically, uh, I'd set up the channels to auto post to Facebook and the the other social media channels. So within a couple of minutes or so, it had it had um, updated Facebook. It had shortened the link automatically using Bitly. So anyone anyone clicking on that would go back to the original post. I did the hashtag that I set on the channel as well. So that's Facebook. Very similar on LinkedIn. So it's taken the content, um, created a post from it. It's up to you whether or not you in, you include the title of your post. Um, for this channel, at the time I had set it to take the title, but you can turn that on or off as you want to. And then um, LinkedIn kind of um, takes a look at the sites and brings back you know some content as well there to uh, show the image and the title and so on of the post. So that's what happened on LinkedIn. For Twitter, I had a channel that requested six custom written scheduled tweets. So um, within a couple hours or so, a tweet had been written, um, scheduled and, and gone out to the uh, VWriter It Twitter account. Um, and that was the first of six. So you can see that that, one's, that that one was published and the profile icon shows um, slightly kind of faded out when it's been published. The others are still waiting to be published. I set in the channel for each tweet to be published. Um, it looks here about five days apart. So basically it's been scheduled to go out. And these times are also based on my publishing time windows for the Twitter profile here. If I'd had more than one profile, it would have um, scheduled them out separately for each profile based on the time window. So um, for each profile, I, I basically set the window of time in which I believe my community are most active, most likely to be online and most likely to see the content. And then it will schedule out the, the tweets appropriately to go, go to them at the, at the right time, basically. Um, so you, you can see the links are all the same, so it's all the same blog posts. And um, 
the first you know few characters of the content are written here as well so you can see the kind of content that's been written all all different tweets to try and capture people's attention in different ways and make it more personable and more engaging for them uh, for pinterest uh, we don't pin directly to pinterest what we do is we basically create a pin that's then sent to um, a, a an email address of your choosing and you basically just click the link to add it to Pinterest so it's very straightforward. P Pinterest don't actually provide a, a programmatic way to do that. Um, so this works very well. So as soon as that new blog post was published, a pin was created and sent by email. A couple of seconds, you know, click, click the link and it's on Pinterest. So let's just see yep yeah, okay so um this was how it was set up under the pinterest profile you can see my username there for pinterest i um, chose the board to pin to so that will come into the link here and you enter the notification email that you want these um e emails to go to so if, if you want somebody else to kind of click the link and do that for you you can uh, it, it's up to you what email you choose for that So click the link and the result was the new content shown on Pinterest with the image from the blog post, um, just as on the other social channels, basically. Um, it tells you as well, Pinterest, where, where it was pinned from. So it comes up as your, your website and you'll have the link there as normal. And you'll see the, the hashtag, very, very similar to what we had on Facebook earlier on. Um, it was all all go, going through the same channel, so you'll see the same kind of information coming through to each of them. If you want um, differing information, you can simply set up different uh, channels based on your, your d different requirements. This um, shows a bit more about what happened with the article channel. Um, as, as I said right at the beginning, um, this session is basically split into two different parts. So next uh, Friday, I'll go through the article after it's been written and what happens after, after it's been written. Um, at the moment, the article is in progress. So within kind of a day or two, that should be ready. And then uh, go, going out to the article sites. So I will go over that in the next training session to show you what happened. Uh, the channel notifications I mentioned right at the beginning, um, you can see here two emails that were sent out immediately that the, the, the um, content was published to the blog. So that's the first email that came along. Well, they both came at the same time, really. So please create new slide share based on and then the exact link, link of the, the post that uh, updated the blog. So that's been taken straight from the new content on the blog and uh, replaced into the email and the email sent out. And again, a very similar email this time about the email broadcast. Um, the same thing happened here. So it's up to you what kind of text you put here. But that's just very, very kind of basic information. Okay, so next time we will go over what happened after the article was uh, what was created. So the article was uh, completed and auto distributed to article sites. That, that's what we'll look at next time. Um, there was a channel set up to publish a, a tweet as soon as it published to Ezan articles and um, a channel notification to put it onto LinkedIn Pulse. Um, once the slide share has been created, um, th th this week basically the notification has gone out to create the slide share. So now that needs to be done, put onto slide share and the video created from it. Um, so as soon as that's done and published on slide share, there'll be posts to LinkedIn, Facebook, and Pinterest, multiple tweets, a channel notification to embed slide share back on the blog post. Um, and another channel notification to convert the slide share to the video. So by, by next week as well, the video would have been published as well. And as a result, um, multiple tweets going out and um, 
also posts updating LinkedIn, Facebook, and Pinterest. So I hope that's been um, helpful. It's been a fairly short session this week, um, but quite to quite a bit to go over, really. So we'll do the next half of kind of what happens. I, I, I didn't want to want to do it both in one session because otherwise, what happens is you have a you know content going out to your social media channels that's pretty much the same. So it gives time for um, other posts to be going out through content curation and so on onto the social networks, and you're kind of spreading out the content um, over time. So you've got the, you know, the slide share based on the blog post and it just spreads it out and makes it, you know, makes it a lot more, um, ma 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 makes it better basically for your community there. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you do have any questions, please let me know. I will stick around for another five minutes or so. Hi, Arthur. Thank you for your question. Can you show us how you would set up the content curation features of vWriter? Um, yes. What would be a good idea, actually? I'll, I'll do part two of this next week. Um, it took quite a bit shorter than I thought it would do. Um, so I would imagine a similar sort of time next week. So what I can add on to next week as well is going over things like that for you. So yes, I, I will do that next week. There are various ways in which you can use writer to create content both um, setting up channels to basically do it in a natural way and also you can do it man manually through the system by by but basically look, looking at fees that you've set up in the system and then you can do drag and drop posting and so on so uh, yeah that sounds a good plan thank you Arthur Hi, Mike. Thank you for your question. Are the written tweets automatically scheduled? Yes, they are. Yes. As soon as they're approved um, and you can choose to either approve them manually at the beginning. Um, I've now got mine set to auto approve. So it means that they kind of get, get approved as soon as, soon as they're completed. Um, so as soon as they are approved, they are then scheduled based on your settings. So within the channel, um, I've basically set mine to go out five days apart. And as soon as they were approved, as soon as they were written, basically, they were then sent out and scheduled out five days apart. So I didn't have to do anything at all to make that happen.